Hey everyone, Alex here from ornamentdesigns.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a true combination eight. First you'll need to start out with a simple eight division. Then you'll need to go ahead and trace around the equator for your mold line. Next, measure from your pole down to the equator, and I got 5.5 centimeters. Then divide that in half, and on every other line, mark that halfway point. And I like to use my compass as an easy marking tool. Mark the same lines that you did from the top, also mark them from the bottom. Oops, let me fix that. Okay. Okay, now here's the tricky part. So I've slowed this down so you can really see it. What you're gonna do is look at just one half of the ball. And you'll see these three points at the top. Draw a line starting from the point on the far left down through the adjacent line to the next line's equator point. This first line is always where I get messed up and you can actually see um, how I made a mistake before um, with the white outlines that you see on this ball. So you're gonna draw that first line and then you're gonna continue through down to the bottom right point. Now here, let me slow the video way down so you can see what I'm talking about. So on this one half of the ball, you'll see that sort of slash mark going through all of those uh, vertical and that horizontal line. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side going down from down to up. You're going to basically you're going to be continuing that circle all the way around the circumference of the ball. And there you go. Now you're going to start at the right, go down to the left through that equator point, down and around, continue around the ball making a new circle that's crisscrossing that other circle that you just drew. Negative. Looks like a big X there. All right, next, turn your ball 90 degrees. Start from, again, that top left point down through the adjacent line to the equator and continue on down through, connecting to the far right bottom point, all the way around. You're basically doing just the same thing that you did before, except this time you've turned the ball 90 degrees. All right, so there you have it. There's your true proper combination eight. If you wanna see more about making this combination, please uh, go to tamarikai.com or you can pick up Barbara Seuss's book, Japanese Tamari. It has some awesome illustrations in it. I really like it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Bye.